Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. This is take two because I hit the wrong button. Yep. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my world. So, I'm Kelly, your host here at Don't Run With Scissors, your favorite Jeep driving lawyer, mom of twins, and three crazy rescue dogs who likes to craft, is studying to be an ASL interpreter, and is training for Iron Man. And I am very crazy. So, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button. It sends me a message, kind of boosts my serotonin, makes me boost my self-esteem. We all could use that. So, um, yeah, go ahead and do that. If you're returning, welcome back to the crazy. You know what you're in for. And yet you come back and I love you for that. Um, oh, my phone just went off. Okay. So let me move my phone so that I don't hit the button again. Okay. So the sign of the day is I'm blanking now. Oh, confused. Confused. So you're just going to take your little claws and you're going to twist them. Like I'm confused, but you have to do the face too, because ASL really relies on facial cues. So there you go. Confused. Versus happy, happy, confused, uh, tired. I often sign that when my teacher goes around on Tuesdays and Thursdays and he asks, how are you? And I'm always like, I'm tired. <laughs> so he tells me I need a vacation. You need a vacation. vacation. So you need to rest. And yes, that is the sign for rest. Versus bow tie and bat, bat. But if you do this, wait, this is butterfly. I think this is butterfly. Now I'm blanking. Um, I'm kind of like a little kid, like toddler learning sign still. But, but today. I went to our Highland Lake campus for school. Um, I met with our academic advisor, mentor person for our sign club. And she's deaf. And we didn't have an interpreter available. And I was kind of freaking out. And she says, no worries, Kelly, you interpret. Said, I'm only in ASL 4. It may be a little rough. And she says, that's okay. You practice. That's how you get better. And she's absolutely right. And I said, okay. And she goes, we can do this. We'll get through it. If anything, you just fingerspell. And I was like, okay. She goes, absolute worst case scenario and it goes to hell in a handbasket with your interpreting skills one then you're going to know where to practice i'm like well, yes anything about above 10 with numbers i need practice but um she's like it will build your skills an absolute worst case scenario will resort to paper and pen and i said i really don't want to have to do paper and write I can do it, but that like, hello, I'm studying ASL to be an interpreter. So we go and her and I have to communicate along the way to figure out, you know, where do we go from here? You know, we can't find where we're supposed to be. We have to talk and every time we have to go talk to somebody, I have to tell her, Hey, this is what's, what's going on. This is where we have to go. Um, I did have to do a little bit of finger spelling. Um, but there were words that we haven't learned yet. And so I didn't feel like, I don't know what the word for Dean of the school is like, so I just finger spelled it. Like we have to go to see the Dean. So after running around and figuring out everything, and there were some issues that we sorted out. 
and I explain everything to her. She then explains, we sat down and we were talking and we had a conversation, got to know each other, handled some other business for sign club. And she says, do you want feedback about your interpreting? And I said, yes, because that's the only way you're going to get better. And you're going to learn more is by hearing what, not only what you did wrong, but also what your skill, your, your good things were. And so we were sitting there and, um, sorry, just got a message, um, and talking and she gave me some tips and she's like, honestly, for an ASL four student who hasn't had like ASL in high school or anything, I'm like, well, even if I had ASL in high school, I think I'm on like, we're like, we've had our 30th class reunion. Um, so it, it would have been a while. She said, I did a really good job. She understood what was going on. She has like, she walked away from the meeting and she felt good about it. She's like, okay, I understand. She's like, you're going to follow up on this and this. And I said, yes. And she's like, and you'll text me and let me know. And I said, yes. Um, but I understood everything she was signing to me. Um, you know, there were specific certain signs that I didn't, but knowing the rest of the conversation, I was able to fill in the blanks appropriately. So that was a huge victory for me today. A huge self-esteem boost in my skills because I was, I will be honest with you, especially looking at some of my grade um, this semester or this term for ASL, um, because so much of it is number has been number heavy, my grade is a little lower than I want it to be. And my teacher has been great. And he's like, you're doing fine. Um, that's fine. If you do this and you poke fine, you're doing fine. So don't, don't worry. Stop stressing. Stress, stress. That's my other side. Stressed and confused. I tell my teachers that all the time. I'm stressed. I'm tired. I'm confused. He laughs at me. He thinks I'm hysterical. Um, but it, it was a good, I'm glad we had to do it this way because we could have waited and gone another day where we had another, like a, a student who's getting ready to graduate who would have interpreted. Um, and certainly that would have been the easy way out, but at the same time, that doesn't help my skills. Um, so it was really, really cool, um, to do that today. So I was very proud of myself. Um, certainly was out of my comfort zone. And so, yeah. Um, let's see, other news. I got my hearing aids back. They ended up not costing anything. They repaired them. Mm -hmm. um, so I had been all stressful, stressed out about that because even $400 is a lot of money when I'm paying three college tuitions <laughs> and all of the house bills and stuff. Um, so yeah, so we've done that. Let's see what else. I had the heart procedure. Um, okay. So in the last week, like in the last couple of weeks, I've been bat battling the sinus infection. I don't think it's totally cleared up. It is much better than it was, but it's not totally gone. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer, see how we are. I have, I got confirmed Friday with a UTI and Saturday I ended up going to the emergency room for the incision because it had been draining and stuff. Turns out I have an abscess. Now the, the reason they're afraid, they're probably more cautious than the average person with an abscess with me, um, is because every time when we've had all the shunt replacements, um, several of, a couple of them have been because there's been an abscess of fluid around the shunt or around the tubing that has started to show signs of infection, um, which then resulted in taking out and then replacing and, and just this roller coaster and nightmare of things. So, um, it, it is looking much better. They have, I'm on antibiotics, um, <coughs> all as well. So, Forgive me, I am thirsty. Um, I did a stupid thing and I ate a bunch of candy this afternoon. Out of, I don't even know if it was stress eating or what. I'm not, it could have been, I don't know. Um, 
about it and so now my sugar is high and I'm really really thirsty <coughs> of course then I get a cough so okay so let's see what else I had court a couple times all is well there um I have misplaced my floss to the marine corps emblem so now I have to go get more floss because I looked at my box and I don't have some of them and it's very weird because I had a complete set but I have used a lot of floss this year um, already. And I mean, I know I don't have that many finishes. Well, I have like seven or eight little finishes. Seven? It's either seven or nine. I don't remember which. But we have several. So I have several finishes. And I've also worked a lot on some bigger projects, as you know. So I went to go pull the flosses because I was like, okay, I, I couldn't find my pattern my illegal copy of lady of the flag so i couldn't work on her because she was my whip go goal for the month my other whip go goal is jeep van gogh i was working on that was trying to finish up my 10 day stretch on that we have six days in however my trial period for pattern keeper expired um which is fine i i absolutely am going to buy it because it's like eight dollars and fifty cents like hello and it's saving me so much time and stress and it's so nice but for some reason my tablet won't um here let me sh maybe some one of you guys maybe you guys will figure this out because i left a message in the pattern keeper group and i've sent a report in and um i haven't heard from anybody okay so it gives me this message which okay you guys can't see it it basically says your trial period has ended if you wish if you want to continue to use padding keeper you have to buy it okay and it gives me the option to buy it so i click buy watch it'll work this time and you guys will yeah okay you guys are the magic people um it wasn't letting me buy it before It wasn't coming up with that window. Um, it was telling me it couldn't connect. Um, now I have to remember what my Google Pay password is. And I just, or not my Google Play password is. Anyways, it wasn't pulling that window up to let me buy it. So I couldn't work on jeep van gogh because when i realized that the pattern was in pattern keeper um i got rid of my pattern like the the 97 page pattern because like one the squares were so little on that it was hard to read for me and um it's just easier to work honestly it's easier to work off a of pattern keeper so um i I was like, okay, I'll pull out Lady of the Flag. But then I couldn't find Lady of the Flag pattern, and I found it tonight. But I'll be honest with you tonight. I just don't feel like stitching. Like, I'm kind of, I don't know. Like, today I'm just in a funk. I, I, I'm going to be really blunt. Um, today I'm just kind of in a funk. I got, I got up early. I had court. I took my son to PT. I had the meeting. I dropped off the CGM monitor. Um, she is going to review the data and stuff and we're going to review that, like get together with that. Um, and, but tonight, like we normally would have class. We didn't have class. He went out, he was, um, he's in Mexico for the week and, um, on a vacation, which is absolutely fine. Like hope he has a great time. And I probably should have worked on my web design homework, but I, I just, I don't know. I will have to tomorrow because there's a chunk due tomorrow night. Um, so yeah, so we got to work on something, um, cause gotta have something to turn in. So what I did do over this weekend though, was finish anatomy and physiology, um, which is actually human structures and functions, which is same thing. Okay. So I finished off. I've got an A in the class. It's done. I don't have that to worry about anymore. I also caught up and, and went ahead a little bit in ASL4. Um, so, yeah. I think on Thursday he said we're going to actually meet in person. 
which would be really nice. Um, we'll go from there. So, um, tomorrow will be a little crazy and a little bit busier than had I, um, taken care of my stuff today. Um, um, okay. So, but I did do some stitching this week and let's start with that. The one thing I did, as you guys know, is I am doing the frosted pumpkin, um, under the sea cell. Um, I know that Janet is doing it. Um, she's already got part one done. Um, I think pretty sure Janet said she and showed that she had, I, I hadn't, but I am caught up on that. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to stay caught up. I don't even know when part two comes out. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I know I have part one done. I know that part two isn't out, which means I'm on top. Um, I changed my girl's hair. Um, I am working on, it's a, it's a one-sided, um, dyed Ada from Michaels. I think it's by his way, his wider. Could be a DMC. I don't know. Whatever. I then painted my sparkles on it because I wanted sparkle fabric. Um, but the colors are perfect because it's a blue green. It reminds me of water. I changed my mermaid's hair color. She is, oh shoot. Um, she is DMC 300. One strand of that and one strand of copper diamond, diamond floss. Um, because I think that mermaid should have sparkly hair, but I wanted her hair to be normal color traditional color I don't know so I have my little girl in there see her hair it's all glistening with my sparkle fabric are they not the cutest like seriously I'm on cute overload love it so cute it's gonna look so cute on the wall next to three small words um three small words is officially hanging in my living room and I realized that I mounted the board a little crooked crooked because I kept trying to straighten it. I was like, but the board looks straight. I don't understand why it does. And my son pointed out, um, it's because the, like the decorative boards that are on top of the big board aren't. Okay. The other thing that I did was I figured out, um, I am doing the Monopoly game board. I am stitched with this. I'm going to sell this with the stitching penguin. She's doing hers more of a stitch appley with different stitches or cross stitch related. Um, I'm changing mine because I'm me and I change everything. <sighs> uh, um, mine is music related. My son and I went through, we made sure that all of them are grouped the way he wanted them grouped and the instruments he wanted grouped. Um, the other part of that that we're gonna do is Free parking will be community concerts and the jail will be the practice room. Um, for luxury tax and income tax, we're making them the two music stores that he shops at. For Waterworks and Electric Company, he actually came up with doing them as treble and bass. But now I'm starting to think if maybe we shouldn't change community chest and chance to those. But then I'm going to need ones for waterworks and electricity. Um, and then the railroads were changing to the Fillmore, Grand Old Opry, the Cindy, Sydney Opera House, and Carnegie Hall. I kind of feel like I should change the Sydney Opera House, although that's one he came up with, um, to the Detroit Symphony where they play, since that's where we live. Well, I mean, we don't live in Detroit, but you know what I mean. Um, so I don't know. I'm taking feedback. Throw it at me. Okay. So we did Frosted Pumpkin. The other one that I worked on is Jeep Van Gogh. I don't know if Pattern Keeper will let me show you the picture. I hope it will. Because I'm not sure. I posted it on my Instagram with progress. Um, let's see. 
you mock up. Yeah. Okay. I posted on Instagram. This is what Jeep Van Gogh will look like. Can you guys see that? With the, there we go. With the glitter. That is that may be the best I can get it. Um, now, George, my Jeep does not have a front wench on it yet. But otherwise, that is George, my Jeep. The red Jeep. I love George. Um, so, with that said, remember we had to restart it. I now have six days out of ten, which is my goal for Wicko this year. It's just to spend ten days, at least a hundred days, at least a hundred stitches each day to count as a day. Um, this is about just over two pages wide. It is seven pages wide and four pages down. This is just over two pages, not not quite two and a half. And this is not even one page down. We are almost at a quarter of 1%. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? I love this. I love this. Um, so um, in other news, I did find a copy of an authentic real copy of Lady of the Flag. And I did spend the money. Like I said. I broke it down into payments. Um I have a I have a really hard time stitching from an illegal pattern. Yes, I bought the pattern, but it's not really it was a PDF. That I printed out. Um, I, I really struggle with that. So um, that has been put in the mail and I should have it by Friday. Um, at which point I'm going to actually go make a working copy. Um, if somebody has Queen of Freedom and would like to trade not trade like permanent trade but like share so that I will send you lady of the flag you can stitch lady of the flag I will stitch queen of lady of the queen of freedom um and then some patterns back um and then I'd like to also do that with Queen of Peace. Um, that would be really cool. Because I don't have another $180 to spend on another fucking pattern. Like, really and truly. Although, total, that's probably what I spent on the Disney Princess sale so already. With all of the extra movies. Because the original one from Cause Factory is like 80 bucks. And then I added in the extra movies at $9 a piece. So, yeah. We are not going to discuss that. In the meantime, though, um, that is all the stitching I have. That is the only haul I have. Um, I, of course, I did buy some DMCs, and now I need some more DMC. Um, I sent out, I sent out some happy mail. If you'd like happy mail from me, I need your address. So, if um, with that, um, I'm going to let you go and I will talk to you later. Um, I hope you all are having a great week. Again, the wall is still not painted and I don't see that happening anytime soon. Maybe this summer. I'd really like to get it painted. Um, I have to add the second coat. Okay. Oh, that's a, my other question. When you guys do your tumblers, ooh, yeah, we're going to have to do a second coat. Moot point. We have to do a second coat. You put the Mod Podge down and then you put the glitter. Do you Mod Podge two coats of glitter normally and then do the epoxy? Because I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, and then I thought you're supposed to leave like 
part of the space up here, but now I'm looking at other people's and their glitter goes all the way up and so does their epoxy. So, um, but I, I didn't realize it got bumped. So it's definitely going to need a second coat of, of glitter. And then I have to peel off the little vinyl underneath so that the regular silver of the tumbler shows through. But I have glitter everywhere. Glitter is like, I don't know. I love glitter though. And I won't stop using it. So don't point me complaining because it's not going to change anything. I'm still going to use it. Okay. With that said, again, um, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get after the kids to do the dishes because I did them last time. My son did them a little bit because he, but then he couldn't get out of his room again and I have a sink full of dishes. And I made dinner tonight and I don't have to wash dishes if I make dinner. That's kind of my rule in my brain. So, all right. Y'all have a great week. Again, if there's anything I can do or help you with, please let me know. Just, you know, shoot me a, a message and um, I will see what I can do. All right. Sending you much love and much support. Um, remember to take care of yourself. Um, let's see. Oh, so self-care. Self-care. So you're going to do, I don't know why K's for care, but whatever, care. Self-care. You need self-care. You need, need self-love. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Love you.